Hi, I'm Dan Schmidt. I do a weekly television show called Team Chicago Challenge. My website is teamchicago.tv, teamchicago.tv. We're on Wallace Lake, West Bend, Wisconsin, just north of Milwaukee. Big Brothers, Big Sister, charity event. We got two classes. We're gonna have the American Screw class, and we got Canadian Screws. Canadian Screws are a little bit longer than the American Screws, giving better, better traction. So it'll be two complete races in the next 10 or 12 minutes. I'm gonna show you all the highlights. Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Wallace Lake, West Bend, Wisconsin. Don't forget my website, teamchicago.tv, teamchicago.tv. <laughs> as Rob Weinmeiner from Moto Ice conducts the riders meeting and tells us about the sponsors of this event, then we're going to look at the two separate motorcycle endurance races. Uh, Verana Body Shop, Dan Verana, Mike Verana, uh, Todd Carlson, uh, Tommy Berger, um, West Bend Harley, huge sponsor of ours, um, Western uh, Snow Plows, Douglas Dynamics Western Snow Plows is the keynote sponsor for this event. They write a big check to big brothers and big sisters every year for this. Um, Duquesne Masonry, uh, West Bend Elevator. Oh, Ray, Ray Max. Um, well, I shouldn't forget that one. Uh, am I forgetting anybody? Tommy, Nathan. Oh, yeah, no Summer didn't work. All right, guys. Um, any questions before we go? No questions, and we look at the highlights from the American Screw, or the AMA approved screw race, the screws on the tire. That's what we're talking about, the screws that give the traction. And AMA screws are only allowed to be 3 16ths of an inch off the surface of the tire. Got five waves blasting off the line, the first three. We join Team Bear Helmet Cam, Phil Young with the Team Bear Helmet Cam as we wait for the fifth wave to take the flag. And we get to see Joe Stoppelworth, my good friend Joe Stoppelworth, the promoter of the Oshkosh Winterfest, the man that takes care of building the track for the Steel Shoe Fund and for the Oshkosh race, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. He's on that small, clown bike, it's a 125 Yamaha, TTR I believe, Yamaha, and he's dressed like a clown as Phil and Joe head on out to do battle on this two and a half mile course. As we swing the camera, we can see J.R. Schnabel. J.R. Schnabel is on that Action Power Sports Suzuki. He is in the lead. J.R. Schnabel may be one of the fastest motorcycle racers in Wisconsin. He has won AMA National Championship events. Right with him, it is the young Jacob Winmeyer, and he's on the 328 Power Sports. Is he on the Yamaha or is he on the Honda? But a young rider chasing the pro, learning all the tricks. As we see some of the riders flashing by, including Jacob Jesko, Trey Johnson, John Stewart on the Lemon Pie 125. 91 is Patrick Riders who get 30 minutes into this race. He's with Retriever Racing. Retriever Racing did great at the Steel Shoe Fun race. And now we're looking at 02. 02 could either be Mike Weinmeyer or Tony Butler. They're on your 328 Power Sport B team. There's the A team and the B team. They are up to the challenge on this one and a half to two mile road course laid out on the ice. We got about 14 inches of ice as we see Joe Stoppelworth come by and yet Yamaha, Joe's just clowning around. Joe Stoppelworth, he is the promoter at the Oshkosh Winterfest. He's also the man that lays out the track for the Steel Shoe Fund three hour endurance. He's having a great time. Phil Young and the team bearer, Kawasaki, is right with him. At this point of the race, in the top 10, the teams look like West Bend Harley Davidson, Rob Performance Retriever, Vince's Mom, Sawmill MX, Jackpot, 321 Power Sport A and B team. We got Team JJ, we got the truck racers, we got Jesco Racing, we got Metzler, Harley Davidson. Some of the riders up front, 
Yes, we've reached the halfway point, 45 minutes in, 45 minutes to go. We swing the camera around and we see J.R. Schnabel on that Team Power Sport Suzuki. J.R. Schnabel, a genuine go fast, a rider that's won AMA National Championship events. J.R. is flying out there as he heads through turn one and two one more time, but an uh, evil noise is coming out of that Suzuki engine. From what I understand, it's only got eight hours of running and it is making an evil noise. JR is heading back to the pits. It looks like that engine's gonna be at the workbench at Action Power Sports to see just what went wrong on the track. And now we're on the Team Bear Kawasaki Phil and I have teamed up. This is probably one of the best races for Phil. We're running in the top 25 at this point. My time to go around, have a great time as I come up on these two bikes, trying to outside line, cut back, one bike slowing up a little bit, going around the outside here, make it through. Phil worked on the suspension on his bike. Phil put the tires together on this Kawasaki and it's working pretty good out here on the racetrack as we get into the final moments of this race as we see 59 that is Jacob Justno he's saying at Justno Racing and he is running in second place 02 comes by that could either be Mike Weinmeyer or Tony Butler and he had 328 power sport and they are running in fifth place we're going on to pick up the win it is Eric Metzler Eric Metzler He's on that Metzler Harley Davidson BMW. He's on a KTM, and they are from Beaver Dam, Wisconsin, going on to pick up the win. Second place was Jacob Jesko. Third place went to Jim Beckman on that Team JJ. Garrett Lober was in fourth place. Weedman and Butler were in fifth place on the 328 Power Sports. Jack Pock was in sixth place. Seventh place was Sawmill MX. Vince's mom was in eighth place, Retriever Racing was in ninth place, and Rob's performance ended in 10th place. As you look at this front wheel, this tire has Canadian screws in it as we compare it to an AMA approved screw tire. Now the difference is the AMA screws can only be 3 sixteenths of an inch off the surface of the tire. The Canadian screws I believe are three eighths of an inch. They look like they're almost one half inch tall. And that's the reason the Canadian screw bikes get much better traction. And now we're watching the beginning. This is the second 90 minute race. Jumping off the line, it looks like Scott Fishner on the outside, right in the center. That's Max Marr, Dan Murr, number 70, and Jesse Janish, 32. Those are the fast ones off the line as the second wave blast away now the third wave fourth wave is waiting for the green flag fourth wave is now off fifth wave gets the green flag and the race officially begins as we swing the camera around early lead it looks like parker lane parker lane at number 68 is on that parker lane racing Honda right with them. It is, I believe that's Jesse Janish on that number 32 bike. He's on a Honda 450. They're sponsored by, or it's the NDG 32 team. Right there also looks like 38, not far behind. It's Scott Fishner. As we see this young Parker Lane, he has got the good lead. Got the good start. Now watch the riding style. They've got so much more traction. He goes flashing by. Jesse Janish, 38 is Scott Fishner, 07. That is Chris Hansen, 43 is Andy Heineke, 44. That's Max Meyer, 84 is Jacob Ellis. At the 30 minute mark, we're starting to see some of the bikes coming in the pits. 04 is in the pits. That could be Tyler Rosine handing off to Chris Johnson or Chris Johnson handing off to Taylor Rosine. This is on the Deadpool bike, 04. 
they were running in the top 15 coming into the pits and making their change. They head on out. The do battle on this two and a half to three mile road course, Lake Wallace. And now up front, we got a battle between, that's 58, Parker Lane, right with them is 24. 24 is Brad Tomei or Brad Rosine. And they're on Team Has Been. Two very fast ice racers are trying to reel in Parker Lane, trying to take over the lead as we get to the halfway point in this 90 minute race. This is a great road course laid out by the guys from Moto Ice. Whoa, Ryder down, let's slow it down and take a look. You can see he lost the front wheel. Front wheel tucked in, down on the ice. It is Max Mayer. Max Mayer is right back up. He's the rider, got a great start. He was one of the early leaders. He's gonna lose some time falling down on the track as we see a few bikes go slipping by. In the pits now, this looks like Team Yama. 84, 84 is either Jacob Ellis or Dayton Bender. They are running approximately in 15th place. They're having a good race to this point, taking on fuel, changing riders, heading out to do battle one more time. As we see this group of riders coming in the scene, it is Scott Fitcher running in fourth place. That's number 38, number 15 could either be Brian Murphy or Jordan Hupp, and they're running in sixth place on bike number 15. 44, that's Max Marr. He's on that Canadian shred 450 Honda. As we swing the camera back, we look at Rob Wiemeyer. He's on that Moto Ice 62 Kawasaki. He's one of the promoters of this event, working with Moto Ice. On Facebook, it is Moto Ice LLC. As he scoots around this track, he is running a good race. He is running in the 10th place, and that Kawasaki's getting great traction running with those Canadian screws. As we get towards the end of the race, it is number 11, that is Mike Bauer. He's on that kicker, 2.5 team, right with him it looks like. Jeremy DeRuder, Jeremy DeRuder's on that. NDR32 Team Honda, they are running second place. It is Jeremy DeRuder along with Jesse Janis running second place as we see the white flag fly. One lap to go. We swing the camera back one more time. It looks like Scott Schnabel, number 45, he is J.R. Schnabel's uncle. He's running at JDSNM Yamaha. He's running in 24th place. Very fast race. White flag flies. One lap to go. Team Yamaha comes by. That is number 84. They are running in 15th place. As we see 58, that is Parker Lane. Parker Lane racing on the Honda has dominated this entire race. Parker Lane goes on to pick up the win. The Canadian Screws race right here with Big Brothers, Big Sisters, Eddie's Lake House. Second place ended up the Janish, the Rooter team. Second place, third place went to the team has been. Fourth place went to Scott Fishner. Fifth place went to Zach Wolf. Brian Murphy and Jordan Hump on the Murphy team finished sixth. Dan Launders and Dan Murr on the West Bend Harley Davidson two team finished seventh. Eighth place was Scott Schneeberg. Ninth place was Jack Sutherland. Tenth place went to Rob Weinmeyer. Don't forget, big brothers, big sisters, big brothers, big sisters, Washington County, BBBS, WASHCO. Dot org. Eddie's Lake House on Facebook is Eddie's Lake House. And the promoters of this event, Moto Ice, is MotoIce.com. Their Facebook is MotoIce-LLC. Don't forget, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, 
motorcycle ice race. Join us in 2017. Don't forget TeamChicago.tv, WalkWithDan.com. It was a great day for a motorcycle ice race. Lake Wallace, West Bend, Wisconsin, just north of Milwaukee. We're right with Eddie's Lake House. Make plans to join us in 2017 and help big brothers, big sisters.